don't have enough uh, minerals for it right now because I did have to uh, keep on producing the army because of that attack. Felt like he would keep on producing marines, uh, but he did stop, and he is producing. Uh, no, just now getting uh, four more uh, marines out, and he's switching to a starport, so we're not going to be seeing tanks, it doesn't look like, uh, unless he is um, switching his, uh, his strategy every couple seconds, which is always a possibility in the games that I play. I am not the best player, and I don't claim to be. There we go, he's getting uh, four more marines and a siege tank. I don't know if he thought that this was, um, the strategy was going to be good enough to win him the game, uh, but it wasn't this time. I don't know if it usually is. And so we saw a, a second refinery go up, and he put three SCVs there. And looks like he's still only, he's only got two on the original refinery. Uh, so he is uh, getting starting to catch up um, with the income on uh, gas but it does look like I will be getting my expansion now and I will be taking a, a further lead on both uh, minerals and gas because I do have the mules out and a little better saturation and uh, we are both spending um, our minerals fairly well uh, I'm a little let lag behind him but I am getting a lot more in with more harvesters. Siege tank is out. Siege tech not being researched. Continuing to get medevacs. Uh, looks like I'm getting a second engineering bay for when uh, I get an armory if it, the, the game gets to that point. I should have probably gotten the armory first and probably should have gotten the armor upgrade. First medevac coming out, starting to heal up everybody. I don't know if that first medevac will have enough energy to heal up everybody, but it's sure going to try. And there we go, two starports up, both with reactors. Um, so just going to be going for uh, medevacs here, possibly Vikings. Uh, that is all that it will let me do here, unless I lift off and switch. Command center on the expansion, almost up. He does a great scan again. Uh, sees my two star ports, sees the army, sees uh, the siege tank. Uh, he does click on the siege tank, sees that I'm not, I don't have siege mode uh, or any upgrades on him. Uh, I'm not sure if that's what he wanted to know, uh, but I am researching it, and it should be up in a few seconds. Um, army, his army, just still hanging out there. Not doing much of anything, but he does have just as many here, uh, more in his base with a siege tank. He is moving the command center over to the expansion. My command center is up, uh, mules going down, refineries going up because refineries are really what I need from this base. Uh, I need gas, as you can see, I've got 1250 to 200 gas. And it is morphing into an orbital command. Um, I usually just automatically switch it to the orbital command unless I have, um, let's say, one of these uh, expansions here or here. Then I would, or even here. Is there any high yield on this map? There isn't. Uh, no high yield on Jungle Basin for all of you paying attention out there. But I would put a planetary fortress here simply because. Uh, I would feel that uh, Orbital Command, you know, it's not going to help if it gets attacked where a Planetary Fortress does massive amounts of damage to ground units. And <laughs> if you don't believe me, um, I believe it is uh, number 20. Look at number 20 <laughs> of my commentaries. I still have nightmares about that. So, uh, Command Center just hanging out. Uh, trying to figure out how to do some aerial mining, I guess. And looks like he left. Did he? No, he's working on something else. 
Uh, not sure what he is doing. APM for everybody is still horrible because it is the bronze ladder. Uh, we're in the 20s here. Um, I would love to be in the 50s, uh, but it's just uh, not something I can really do on the laptop. Uh, I'm going to be getting a computer hopefully eventually, uh, but not anytime soon, so I am pretty stuck with this crappy mouse. I am using the mouse pad that came with the laptop uh, because I'm a pro gamer like that. And we are going to be seeing a medevac drop from Dr. Bach here. He's going around to the back. Uh, we'll probably see him drop it here, take out these SCVs, um, because he knows that my entire army is up front. This would have been a great time for me to move out. Uh, once again, bad, bad sense of when is a good time to move out. Um, but how was I supposed to know that he was just landing his command center now and morphing it into a, a, an orbital command? And he's got, and he's uh, scared that I'm going to be going for a medevac uh, drop in the back of his base. I am not. No transfer from him, it doesn't look like, um, because he should have made that already. Medevac just hanging out in the back there. Um, finally, we do see uh, tech blobs on, um, on the barracks, but he's still... Oh no, he is now just pr now producing uh, Marauders. Uh, very late in the game for Marauders. Uh, we did pass the 15 minute mark, and here I go, gonna go move out. Uh, run right past his army. They neither one saw each other because uh, I, I guess this when you're in war, you know this distance. That's that's just too much distance to to be reasonably expected uh, to 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 be able to see. It's war. You can't see in war. And where is that matter of fact? There it is. I can't see it there, uh, but there it does go in. For the drop, nothing but marines in there, and they should be doing a good amount of damage to me. And there goes my army to counter. Uh, his aren't his army just uh, hanging out once again. That, you can't be expected to see that kind of distance. I mean, that's like over the hill through the woods kind of distance. Overcome my minute my medevacs and once again he's scared of a drop <laughs> so he instantly takes off all but one marine so once again the the medevac trick <laughs> works uh, again it's crazy how that how often that works you send the medevacs in they assume that there's uh, stuff in it so they just uh, so they run away it's crazy um, there um, medevac uh, Adding those marines to his standard army. SCVs hanging out. Uh, barracks not really producing anything. Uh, I'm continuing to get marines and medevacs. Surprise, surprise. Neither one of us is really keeping up with our production anymore. Or, our or how we're spending. Um, <laughs> And it looks like I will be going for a medevac drop here. I do have an uh, army, uh, somewhat of an army here to protect uh, my base. Um, supply depot is down now, so it is not blocked off. Not that that's terribly important against a Terran player. Will I be going past here? Y yes. So we definitely saw each other there. Uh, or at least we could if we were paying attention, but I don't think either one of us saw that. Uh, he is getting a supply depot uh, that guarding the rocks that protect his expansion. Um, I did not get those. So here I went for angles, and if I didn't go for that and went for the straight drop here, I would have been screwed uh, because my medevacs would have died to these marines. But luckily, I went for the side first, and then I went for the drop. I believe I dropped it here. That was, uh, looks like where I'd be going from there. Uh, looks like uh, my expansion is back up and running. I still need gas, 
That is my big problem in this entire game. I need gas. And finally the medevacs are going down. That's what she said. And I am getting more siege tanks. Uh, he is getting um, Vikings. Interesting. And are we going to be seeing the drop? No, they just hang out out there. And does he move his army in? Yes, he does, because he can see me, because I am put them too close to the base. So I go, oh yeah, I'm supposed to drop. So down goes my army, taking everybody out. The upgrades plus the stim too much for the zero zero. Uh, Marines. Looks like he did go all Marines early on. I'm not sure if he thought that was going to win him the game, if that had won him games earlier, but it's not going to beat me. Um, simply wasn't done well enough. The rest of his army just hanging out. I will not be taking this army up like he did his, so these guys will be staying here. Uh, down to just two medevacs, uh, but I've got still a lot of infantry there. Uh, is the siege tank? Yes, it is going to be firing now. So I am just within his radius there. And so I move in, trying to take out the siege tank. Hoping there's not one back there. And down goes uh, the pet lab. And the barracks. Army's just hanging out still. Their, ha their radios are out. And Vikings coming out from the starboard. Marines coming out. Uh, upgrade <laughs> coming. Uh, I don't think that'll ever finish. Uh, he is going for the counterattack. Finally. Uh, but he stands no chance. Um, four siege tanks it looks like. Uh, three of them sieged, one in a, you know, mobile mode, so to speak. Stimpak going down. Everybody's high as hell. So I'm continuing to move these guys down here. And... Um, is gonna go down. And he GG's. So that's the game. So a couple of new things uh, that happened in this game. Uh, great scouting early on. I got to see that he was going to be going uh, heavy on the barracks. So I knew uh, to bunker up and that is what saved me. If I did not see that, I don't know if I would have survived that initial uh, marine push. Uh, but I did. Uh, quick expansion. Um, medevac juke. <laughs> It seems to work so well. Um, tanks defending, uh, they, they really did help here. Uh, medevac drop, um, bad medevac drop. Um, paying attention, seeing that there was an army here. I didn't see there was an army there is what I meant to say. Uh, bunker really helped out uh, in the early game there. Uh, factory, uh, really late for him. And once again, add-ons. This, this barracks never got an add-on. Uh, remember, reactors do double your output. If, you're, if all you want are marines, uh, get the reactor. Don't bother just leaving it as is. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you guys learned something. Hope to see you next time. Bye.